All right, and good afternoon, everyone. It is another Tuesday afternoon. I'm Jennifer Britton. I'm the CEO and founder of Potentials Realized. If you have not heard of us, we are a one-stop shop for all things group and team coaching. You might know me through my writing, author of seven books, but for coaches, I wrote the world's first book on group coaching called Effective Group Coaching back in 2010. Followed it up a few years later, 10 years ago now, in 2013, with a book called From One to Many, Best Practices for Team and Group Coaching. So as we step into 2023, I'm really excited to be doing this in-focus call. And it's all about the new advanced certification in team coaching from ICF, International Coach Federation. Um, why it's so exciting, you know, it, it really is industries change and evolve. It takes time. Thinking about when I put pen to paper back in 2012, actually, to start writing uh, from one to many, we were starting to see the inklings of, you know, not just the need for group coaching, but certainly for team coaching. And when my editors approached me to write a second book, they said, OK, we want a second book on group coaching. I said, actually, I really need to do a second book on group and team coaching, because, in fact, some days, some months I do more team coaching work than group coaching work. So I think probably many of you are in this boat. If you're listening to this call, something has brought you here. Your interest perhaps in learning more about team coaching, just know that if you find us online at either groupcoachingessentials.ca or Potentials Realized, uh, look up my name and you'll find many, many recordings on both group and team coaching. I like to call this the realm of coaching many. In the last three years, so since early 2020, ICF embarked on a very integrative, global sort of research project to not only validate the ICF team coaching competencies, but also think about what an advanced credential could mean. So I'm saying this with a lot of surety. I've been involved in this process uh, really for three years. It was not my process. It was an ICF process. And it was really a pleasure, a privilege, and an honor to feed into that with some amazing other professionals and additional thought leaders around the world. So with that, we are now at a stage where just last Friday, it's mid-December uh, mid 2022, uh, ICF made the announcement that the new advanced certification has now been reviewed and approved. Uh, there are 132 of us that went through the pilot during 2022, and the final requirements are now available. So I wanted to walk you through what ICF uh, has done and what the elements are because we're getting a lot of phone calls. We've been offering um, ICF CCE approved programming in group coaching since 2006 and in team coaching since 2010 when I started offering our three-day group and team coaching intensive, which was a program held here in Toronto. Many of you are our alumni. You came through, you did a little bit on team coaching in group coaching essentials until we uncoupled them a few years ago. So uh, very much as I step into year 19 of this business, it's super exciting to see that this has evolved. So as you will see, and this is directly from ICF's website, head on over to coachingfederation.org forward slash credentials and standards and look for team coaching. And as ICF says, really, it is time in today's complex workspace, and I quote from them, organizations increasingly recognize the power of teams to innovate and drive their business or mission forward. Now more than ever, many types of companies are turning to team coaches to harness a team's collective expertise, energy, and wisdom to advance their efforts and achieve greater results. And so with that, ICF is now making available to any coach around the world the advanced certification in team coaching with certain prerequisites. So first of all, this is an advanced team coaching uh, credential for advanced team coaches. As you'll hear, this is something that coaches will want to work towards, not only in a matter of months, but really in a matter of years. And with that, we really, I think there's an acknowledgement across the coaching industry, practitioners, researchers, authors like myself, that you know the evolution of the coach is ongoing. And so it doesn't, our growth doesn't just happen in weeks or months or just hours. It happens in thousands of hours and tens of thousands of hours. 
So as you listen to this, I hope if you're a newer coach, that this is something that you're going to be aspiring to, that you're going to be intentionally developing your skills, getting out and undertaking the practice of team coaching with teams, as well as continuing your learning in a sequence. Now, some of you have been doing this work for many years, and now is the time for you to be putting in your credential. So we hope that we can support you either in that early stage of journey or the longer stage of journey, because here at Potentials Realize, we're continuing to offer ICF CCE approved team coaching training, group coaching training, as well as supervision for team coaches. And we are some of the few people who have gone through advanced training directly with Peter Hawkins on team coaching supervision. As many of you might be well aware, coaching supervision has been around for a long time using his seven-eyed model. We have been trained and are very experienced in working with his 10-eyed model, which is specific to team coaching. So with that, very much want to take you through a bit of an educational uh, sort of call today, referring back to the ICF requirements. And I just thought it would be useful to also stress, you know, what is ICF requiring in terms of training? So as you look at their website, you know, you're going to notice that the whole credential, I, which is now the ACTC, Advanced Certification in Team Coaching, it drills into several skill areas. And this is what our training here at groupcoachingessentials.ca and Potentials Realized is based on. So looking at distinguishing team coaching from other team development modalities. Almost not a day goes by when I don't get the question, hey, Jennifer, how is team coaching different from team building? Or how is group coaching different from group facilitation? Want to really make the notation here that this is a certification in team coaching. It is not a certification in group coaching, although many of you will work across both disciplines. One of the areas that we need to get a lot more refined in as a coach and with our clients is helping them understand the distinctions and nuance of being a group coach and a team coach. So just note that when you're logging hours, if you are coaching many, coaching groups and teams, you will also want to discern for yourself which hours are groups bringing people from across uh, maybe an organization or across an industry around common issues? When are those group coaching conversations happening? And when are team coaching conversations happening? So again, in team coaching, we're looking at alignment, alignment of intact teams, alignment of project teams, alignment of matrix teams. And as we know in the workspace, which continues to evolve, especially in hybrid, remote, and virtual, sometimes it can seem like, is this a team? Is this a group, right? So part of the work is really deciding, determining what is this grouping. But at the heart of this ACTC is the skill set of also being able to manage the complex dynamics and patterns unique to teams. Teams have their own life force. They have their own uh, sort of DNA, as I like to call it. And in fact, some of my writing in 2023 is in the area of team coaching. So I talk a lot about team, team coaching DNA. Um, partnering with a variety of stakeholders to establish team coaching agreements. And many of you will be well aware of my colleagues' work, Peter Hawkins, and systemic team coaching. So just like the one-on-one -on -one coaching industry has evolved, we are also now at a stage of really being able to evolve and identify the many different derivatives of our work as team coaching thought leaders. And I like to say we are very collaborative in nature. We meet typically on a quarterly basis, uh, you know, thought leaders across the world, and we celebrate each other's different models and approaches. So think about how you are learning in different areas, different domains of team coaching. And that's gonna help you as you partner with stakeholders as you support teams in the development of effective communication and collaboration skills, as you partner with teams to, de to develop their sense of common identity and purpose, and as you collaborate with teams to support conflict resolution and promote a team's autonomy and long-term sustainability. So I just wanna share this with you today. This is not a call where we're diving deeply into any of these components. It's more of a very high level, but just to sort of help you ascertain as a coach, you know, where do you already bring bench strength as well as where do you bring past training? 
because one of the evolutions of 2023 is going to be from the ICF in accrediting team coaching training bodies like ourselves so that you have an easy way to say, oh, this program was about team coaching rather than some other element, but that is yet to come. So for you as a coach, as a learner, really be thinking about where you stack up in these areas because it's going to be critical for your application. So just like any credentialing journey, um, you know, one important note for the advanced certification and team coaching is that this sits on top of, it sits on top of your current ACC, PCC, or MCC. And within that, it's really critical to be thinking about how are you not only building your skills round in the ACC, PCC, MCC journey map, but now how are you adding this specialization of skills? So the applications beyond the pilot is now complete. 132 of us graduated from that or were, were received the designation in the pilot. We went through this entire process. And so there have been a few changes since that based on feedback. A couple of the things that you will need to have, actually the requirements, the eligibility requirements are holding an active ICF credential at any one of the three levels, because you can be an ACC, ACTC, a PCC, ACTC or an MCC ACTC. You also need to have completed 60 or more hours of team coaching education. So this is specialized team coaching training. And as many of you know, we launched a few months ago, a more formalized learning pathway for people to take our programs. We have a six course, 70 hour program uh, pathway, as well as 125 hour pathway. So if you are a graduate of Team Coaching Essentials, Advanced Group and Team Coaching Practicum, if you've taken our new Activate Your Group and Team Coaching Superpowers quiz, or coaching diverse teams and groups using work styles, those are in our certificate pathway. So you can get a certificate from us, but you can also contribute these to the ICF 60 hours of team coaching education, because that is our go-to, our come from. Now, again, an ongoing evolution, depending on when you find this video, will be ICF actually creating a whole new category of coach training providers around team coaching. So stay tuned on that. That is not at end of 2022, anything more than an announcement to coach training providers. We will, of course, be applying for that and uh, very confident that our training meets these requirements. We also need to make sure that we have completed in your application. So your application will be asking you to indicate that you have completed five, a minimum of five team coaching engagements within the last five years. And team coaching engagements are not a one-off, right? These are engagements that may last several months, several, you know, a typical gold standard 10 years ago was like six months of coaching. In today's evolving workspace, it may be more compact and compressed, but we're not usually talking two or three months. These pieces of work may get highly complex, especially as we move from coaching one team to coaching teams of teams to coaching organizations. So as you go about documenting with your coaching log, right, you will need to also take note of five team coaching engagements. And in the pilot, we were required to uh, include letters of reference from those team coaching sponsors. I think it's a good practice to really make sure that you are sort of collecting and documenting your own work. There is also, at least as applications open in the new year, there's probably a strong possibility that the pilot requirements of having an essay, a qualitative essay around what that work involved, how it mapped to the team coaching competencies that was part and parcel. So be thinking about in your own reflective process, how does this current work with my team, team A, B or C or D or E, how does that map to the team coaching competencies? What am I doing? How am I leveraging them? And if you have not yet downloaded, of course, the new ICF team coaching competencies, which were released at the end of last year, 2021, um, make sure that you're doing that because there, of course, is the new, not only the new ICF competencies, but the new team coaching competencies, which is what all of this work is mapping to. It may sound complex, and it is because it is complex. The work of a team coach is, uh, I like to say it's amplified and it's exponential. 
And when we say exponential, we're not just adding on 10, we're Xing it by 10. And so it does require, and one of your eligibility requirements will be to complete at least five hours of coaching supervision. So that coaching supervision is not mentor coaching. It is really to create a reflective space for you to bring your current practice as a team coach to a coaching supervisor. And that could be, there is provision for you to do that in a one-on-one -on -one relationship, or it could be a group relationship. If you've been following our calls here at Potentials Realize this year, you'd know that we're, we've added coaching supervision. Um, you know, certainly in my own evolution, I've gone on to complete additional, additional training as a coach supervisor, even though it's been something that I've been doing informally, I felt it was really important for me to get that grounding on an academic research base as well. And as I shared at the start of this call, we've also here at Potentials Realize completed advanced training directly with Peter Hawkins on his 10-eyed team coaching supervision model. So as the industry continues to evolve, I would say this is where you do wanna seek out specialized team coaching supervisors. There are different layers, different nuances, different elements that are part of the supervision experience. And so just note for your eligibility that you will want to complete at least five hours of coaching supervision. Um, unlike EMCC in Europe, you know, there is not a requirement formally that you need to have ongoing coaching supervision. But I think current best practice at the end of 2022 is really inviting us as coach practitioners at all stages to think about how are we creating these reflective pauses to really pause, look at what's happening within not only the team system, the engagement, our relationship with that, any parallel processes we are bringing to the table. And so that is a, another component. Certainly reach out, set a call with me or with Kathy Vaughn, who provides uh, supervision here at Potentials Realized as well. And we'll probably be adding more supervisors as we continue to grow in this space as well. Finally, there is a knowledge exam. So just like the coach knowledge exam, there is now a team coaching certification exam and you do need to re um, receive a passing score. Uh, that work was also well grounded and was created over these last few years of um, ICF with their research partners actually validating the team coaching competencies and looking at critical incidents. So this work is very much grounded in the practitioner lens. And I hope that it is really an inspiration for you to go forward. Over the last several months, we've been spending a lot of time talking about different elements. I just mentioned coaching supervision, for example. I would invite you to check on out one of the September 2022 calls that I did with Kathy Vaughn over at our YouTube channel. That's Effective Group Coach. And just note that our next coaching supervision group is starting January 9th. Uh, or the week, that should be the week of January 9th. I believe it is actually the 12th of January. And that group will be starting Thursday, 12 noon to 1.30 p.m. Eastern. Now, supervision is not like mentor coaching. And I know many of you in North America have not had the experience of being supervised yet. So just notice in mentor coaching, you know, it used to be 10 hours in three months. With coaching supervision, the recommended frequency is once a month because you're really preparing for the supervision experience having that hour, hour and a half call, we do an hour and a half in small groups of maximum four to six people. And then there's work after the fact in your reflective practice of you know, really anchoring your learning. So if you are interested in coaching supervision, don't hesitate to set up a call. You can also find it now on our website, groupcoachingessentials.ca forward slash coaching supervision.html. We'd be glad to have you join us in January or in some of the other groups. So this is going to be our cohort A of 2023, and we'll have other cohorts starting most likely on a Monday afternoon and possibly a Tuesday as well. So I could talk a lot more. And if you have not found our introduction to our 70 and 125 hour certificates in team coaching, as well as our 70 and 125 hour certificates in group coaching, I would invite you to do that. Um, this is our pathway. So again, what I've been working on a lot in 2022 is just clarifying not only for uh, ourselves, but certainly for you as alumni, what is the pathway 
for coach development. And, you know, we're really starting to see across the industry that many coaches find that there's an evolution naturally from one-on-one -on -one coaching to group coaching, where they bring many people together for that shared interest. And then to really add on more different skill sets, we move into the realm of team coaching. Now, we've been doing a lot of tracking, right? And a lot of conversations, as you know, with our alumni, asking them, what is the what has best set you up for success as a team coach? And what's interesting is time and time again, we're hearing from coaches that really the grounding that we've provided in group coaching essentials is the starting point. Um, coaches need that grounding in best practices around coaching skills, design of programs for many, implementation tips, as well as looking at um, you know, dynamics. We cover things like the forming, storming, norming. We look at the experiential learning process. So for our pathway, program number one is still group coaching essentials, which then feeds into a six-week team coaching essentials, followed by our first phase of the trifecta, which is uh, looking at advanced group and team coaching practicum. Because this, if you have recognized already, the advanced practitioner in team coaching is a practitioner designation. It's not just about learning about team coaching. It's actually about demonstrating mastery or demonstrating proficiency is probably the word that I should use more than mastery. And it, 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 you really do need to get out and do the work. And that's where we prime people for success with our advanced practicum, where coaches lead conversations in the safety of a peer-led group, and they are able to practice both group and team coaching and receive feedback on the competency base. So that's usually, you know, a lot of coaches said that's enough, but now you'll recognize there's a 60 hour recommendation. So in this last year, we've added three more courses, which I'm calling the triad. So our first three courses are the trifecta, then you can go into the triad. Um, you know, a lot of people are jumping in and I often get the question, do I need to have any grounding? You don't have to, but our next course is activating your group and team coaching superpowers. And that is a 14 CCE approved program. It really explores the range of you and your strengths and natural superpowers as a group or team coach. And I love this. And I think people are really intrigued by it. Um, it is based on the group and team coaching superpower quiz I launched in the summer of 2022, which really helps coaches discern their style. There are five different superpowers in the team and group coaching realm. And I'd invite you right now, if you haven't taken it, head on over to bit.ly, that's bit.ly forward slash GT coaching superpower. Okay, so again, that's bit.ly forward slash GT coaching superpower. And that will take you to a two minute quiz and you can learn which of the five styles is your dominant one. Now, the interesting thing here as team and group coaches, we don't want to just stop at having one strength. We really want to learn how to um, activate all five of the styles because this work is complex. We also may be partnering with others. So if we can't bring all five styles, we'll want to partner with someone who is. And you'll notice course six on this pathway is co-coaching essentials because critical for success is the ability to co-coach. And so we're really pleased in Q1, we'll be launching that program of next year of 2023. And I'll be taking a lot of the modeling and the research that I've done now since 2009, because I first wrote on collaboration and co-coaching back in effective group coaching in 2009, 2010. Um, we will have a whole six week program around that. So with that, course four, just to reactivate activating your team and group coaching superpower, team, course five, coaching diverse teams and groups through the work styles. And if you listen to my newest TED Talk, which will be available in early 2023, you will hear a little bit more about those work styles if you have not heard of them before. So we hope that you will join us. I think a starting point is to set up a call. And I'm going to just leave my Calendly link because it's easiest. So you'll want to head on over to calendly.com forward slash Jen Britton. That's J-E-N-N 
B-R-I-T-T-O-N. I will also put some additional links in for those that are interested in talking more group coaching or team coaching because different team members also host these calls. And given that many of you are coming at this from different areas, you know, you might already bring some foundation, um, but we really do continue to see even with seasoned team coaching practitioners that it is good to go back to the basics because a lot of coaches have been doing this work on the fly and not getting grounding in instructional design skills, which we cover in group coaching essentials, or perhaps not really thinking about their sweet spot and how that can be leveraged. So I hope that I'm leaving you with more questions than answers, because that's what a great coach does, is really uh, provoke some new thinking. I like to see my work as a provocateur. This has really driven me in my writing. It's certainly, um, as I think back to where we were even a decade ago in my early speaking days of talking about from one to many best practices for group and team coaching, um, there were audiences that I spoke to, including coaches who said, how dare you expand the coaching conversation away from one person? That is not coaching. And for those of you who might have been in my audience saying that, we are really now at a time where it is so critical that we in expand and enhance the coaching conversation. Teams need this, groups need this, if we're really gonna affect change on the global levels that are required, whether it's geopolitical, whether it's around climate issues, whether it's around social change. And we have to do that through activating and harnessing uh, this, the, the, the power and the, the, the capabilities of many. Now, in order to do that as coaches, we really are being called upon to create those spaces where people can come together and have the dialogue they need for now. And that requires deep, deep, deep levels of trust, of safety, and of connection. So if you've enjoyed today's call, I hope that you will take a moment. Let's get together. Let's have a conversation around what's next for you in your learning development. Again, start today, right? You don't need to do everything in one day. As we see, it's about having five team coaching engagements over up to five years. And so how are you journeying? How are you growing year to year to year? As part of our end of year celebrations, we will be hosting our annual call that will happen in this room uh, next week on December 20th, 2022. If you're coming at this in 2032, that'll be great because you'll see my own evolution, but know that we will probably still be around at Potentials Realized as your one-stop shop for all things group and team coaching. So with that, thank you everyone. I will include links in the YouTube video. Um, there are lots more questions. 2023, we're gonna be offering a series of 10 courses in you know, monthly enrollments for those that are interested. We also have been receiving a lot of frequently asked questions. So stay tuned, I will do some more FAQ calls, most likely over the holidays, because I think we're gonna be seeing a bit of a rush for 2023 when the new uh, credential window opens. And we hope that we can support you, whether it's through coaching supervision, uh, whether it's doing some prep. Uh, uh, Kathy and I will actually be doing some prep calls for people applying for the application, helping you through some sprints on pulling these materials together. So you probably know that that's one of our strengths as well, making things happen in short windows, We've demonstrated it through the 21 for 21. We do our ongoing virtual retreats. And so we wanna be giving back to our alumni and to those in our network. Even if you aren't an alumni of ours yet, uh, we hope that you will continue to look to us for resourcing and support to help you do your best work with groups and teams. So wishing you and your loved ones a fantastic end to the year and looking forward to being in connection in 2023 around your focus with group and team coaching. Thanks for taking time today for joining us and we'll see you soon. Be well, take care.